Hello everybody, this is Chris and it's time for another video review. I've been out for the while, actually I've been uh, sick for about the last two weeks, but now it's time to get back on track. Now this user right here has sent a lot of designs and he's asking how he's doing. So let's have a quick look and see what's what. We're gonna open them up, this is the first time I'm uh, seeing them. So this is gonna be a complete freestyle. Uh, the first one looks pretty good. Now let's see about the second one. Okay, not too bad. The initial impression is good. I like this shade of, uh, of blue, a bit too much empty space, but that's pretty, pretty good. Let's see what else. Okay, interesting headline. Okay. Okay, pretty good, pretty good. Let's see. Okay, two more. Okay, this is obviously far too big. The menu isn't right lined. Yeah, okay, this is not very good at all. And let's see the last one, which is quite long. Let's see. Okay. Okay. Ah, this gray. Don't really like it. Yeah, so overall, I would say this is a pretty good designer, a decent designer, probably someone who has watched at least one of my web design courses, but I would not say that he's capable of winning a, a design contest on 99designs just yet. It seems like um, th there's something missing and that's probably the fact that he doesn't understand what the client actually wants with these designs. Um, another way to put it is the fact that although everything looks pretty nice, you know, the colors, the fonts, the arrangement, the page, uh, the page layout, all of this is pretty good. There's not a clear message regarding what the webs what these websites are actually supposed to do. So book now right here. Let's see what else. Yeah, so as you can see, this isn't at all compact. So while all this white space may give the sense of airiness, of you know, a relaxed look, um, you know, something very wide and open, uh, while all these things are pretty nice. Clients on 99designs don't appreciate these types of things because the entire design becomes much more, uh, let's see, let's see its height. Uh, so in total we have, what, 5,400 pixels. So again, from a business time standpoint, this would not work. It would not work in the real world and it won't work on 99designs, meaning clients won't choose such a, uh, such a design. It's probably a two-star design. And uh, again, you know, the colors are pretty nice. Uh, the images are pretty good as well. Um, I appreciate this font. I don't appreciate this shade of yellow, brown, whatever that is. You should stay away from it. You probably wanted to use something like gold, gold and pink. You know, they should work pretty well. Um, but you probably were too afraid of using, you know, shades of yellow. So you opted for something a bit darker. Uh, but overall, it doesn't work. And it doesn't really work with, the, with this black text either. So you should stay away from, from this color in, in every single situation because it, it's not a, a good look. Um, in general, clients love the fact that you can incorporate that logo in various places, but you should just take this part of the, um, the logo, just the type, and not the actual splash or whatever this is, right? You actually put the, the entire thing and it loses legibility, so that really doesn't make any sense. Um, and again, you, you can tell that this is just a design that's that's been built for uh, practicing purposes. It's not something that would actually make sense in the real world, right? So if you're actually looking for the whatever the hair and makeup artist, this would not convince you to book uh, this person because th the entire content isn't well presented. It's not structured in a way where it makes sense. Uh, you can see that this is just something that a designer made for the practicing purposes. I don't appreciate this type of design, this type of uh, subtle touch, because you know this is pretty feminine and this is pretty sharp. If you wanna include various details, you have to make sure that you're in tune with, uh, with the atmosphere. This being a very feminine uh, website, you should opt for rounded corners in every single place. And this right here should be uh, basically built with an ellipse, an ellipse and a, an inverted layered mask. So you have uh, right here the nice gap, but that's that's rounded, right? Um, now this lovely font should be bigger. 
if you're gonna take the time to actually find a beautiful font a handwritten font with a script font you really have to use it at its proper size right here it's not really doing a, a good job i don't like the fact that you're the you're showing hover states for every single image i don't like the fact that you know we have five instead of six i would just include another one even if the client only has five photos uh, five services i would make something up just so i can get a more balanced look um and in general i would not describe the services in such a small fashion i would probably use something like you know a grid like three 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 rows and um no sorry uh two rows and three columns sorry about that i'm still under the i'm still medicated uh from from the cold so uh things aren't as smooth now these photos are absolutely lovely i love them i think they're great i think even this button is re really well balanced a pretty good design you know a pretty good design the foot of the, the bottom part is uh, actually pretty good as well i would not use bold here in every single situation i would use bold in you know in certain parts but not everything and i would uh, include uh, another color for the email uh, and things like that overall again a pretty good design but not not one that would win a design contest on 99 designs this one yet again the the hero area is absolutely huge you should stay away from uh you know i think this is at least 1000 pixels um you should try and focus you know on getting the entire message across in about 700 pixels at the most right especially when your hero image isn't anything special um this right here you can barely see what's what's going on i can I can see that there's a person that's sleeping but that's about it so the color overlay effect is far too powerful you gave this uh this entire image uh too much importance when you can barely see it so that's a pretty big mistake um and another thing you know i would keep the main menu on the right side and i would place the the phone number in the middle and i would actually make it bigger if this is the uh, main call to action i can see we have a make an appointment here but if you're gonna display a phone number, you have to format it correctly. You have to give it, um, you know, uh, you have to respect the hierarchy. Is this less important than the main menu? I wouldn't say so. I think this is at least as important as the main menu. So having it in a smaller size to the side doesn't make any sense, not the fact that it's not right aligned. So you should be more careful with, uh, with your, the, with your uh, with your guides i see you didn't uh, respect the the active area and that's that's quite a shame um another thing you know the hero area isn't really built this section it's not appropriate to use these types of uh of cards right here so showing three uh doctors what whatever in the hero area it's a bit unusual i'm not saying it is it's not ideal but again if this is about winning design contests you're much better, uh, you, you should go with the standard approach, right? Do what everybody else is doing because that maximizes your chances chances of winning. And I'm just speaking in terms of layout, right? Because what you have here is something, it's something very creative, something that might give you five stars, but might also eliminate you. Uh, to me, you know, considering everything, the photo that's not being, uh, that's not being properly shown, the fact that you, you, you took this risk, I'd say this is more towards the one star uh, or the eliminated uh, part than having it, uh, uh, that, uh, than, than blowing uh, the client away. Um, you should never use strokes on images, pure and simple. If the image isn't well uh, defined by its colors and, you know, its composition, you just look for another photo. I really don't like this, this body text. I think it's way too bold. I don't think it's well structured. I think the hierarchy isn't well set we have gray here gray here gray here gray here there's no color there's there's nothing here that pops there's far too much empty space right here that doesn't serve a purpose because again there's no star element here so the entire thing becomes a huge waste of space you know 1000 pixels that that's basically empty that has no impact for me as a as a visitor uh, a person that's visiting this website there's nothing here that that's going to draw me in and you can you have to think about your website in those terms right is is there anything captivating here yes there is how about here no there isn't how about here okay this is again pretty striking and memorable so that's the way you have to you have to think about 
each component in a, in a website, each area. Every single area has to have its purpose, has to uh, move the client, the, the visitor to the status of a client. So which, with, with each section that passes, the visitor is slowly but surely moving towards the status of a client. You're convincing him to purchase, to purchase those services, if that makes sense. Now, again, here, you should never use a stroke, especially a, a dark stroke on a colored background. If you want to use a stroke, use a white one, never the gray one, never the, any other color, just a white one. Um, read more is far too big. I don't appreciate these uh, arrows. These are outdated. The line height is far too big. Um, I think you're not in the right space in, in the color picker. I think you should have went more, more saturated. I think the shade of blue isn't really all that great. Uh, my initial impression was pretty good, but now seeing, trying to read the text is fairly difficult. Um, I would actually make the, the titles bigger. Yeah, and again, you know, you you're, you're, you're yeah. again, you know, on Team Forest, for example, that's what uh, some of uh, those designers are doing. That they're, they're creating, you know, vast empty spaces because it gives the design a more elegant look. But right here, it's not really working, right? Um, for reasons I can't really get into because simplicity is really difficult. It's something that you you know. As time moves on, you become more and more experienced, you get more creative, your designs, you know, become uh, more extravagant, more detailed. And as time goes on, uh, they become simpler and simpler. So that's basically in a nutshell what, I, what I'm trying to tell you. I would prefer uh, a more detailed uh, footer with uh, four columns inst instead of three. From my experience, four columns works best because it's more, more balanced. Um, that's about it. Let's uh, pick it up. This brown shade again, you know, this is a classic mistake. This is coffee related. So if it's coffee rela related, we have to use brown. Please don't use cliches. Uh, it's, it's really a bad look. Um, you know, the, the font is very, very nice. The text should never be black. This is pure black zero zero zero. Again here, this is a major mistake. Um, this gallery, yeah, pretty good. I would apply uh, a white stroke probably with a lower opacity, maybe about 20% or so for the translucent effect. I would increase the line height here. I would decrease the font size. I'm not really sure what's going on here with this overlapping. Uh, yeah, I'm not in love with it. Uh, plus I don't like the fact that you use the same photo. I'm guessing you didn't have any. You should square off, uh, you should round. Uh, of these corners, five pixels is what I always recommend in my courses. I'm not really sure why you why you chose zero, zero pixels. Mm. And that's about it. I would not use a headline like this. So we have one main headline, hey there, which doesn't tell you anything, and then welcome to whatever. So you should remove hey there because it doesn't bring any value to the table. You should increase this, this one. Um, and you know your type of your the your copywriting game is pretty pretty poor. Welcome to, and the site's name, the company's name. That's pretty bland. You know you should come up with something more exciting, special. You know, you know the best coffee in the world, or whatever. You know something that's more more interesting. <clears throat> Sorry about that. Uh, let's see what else. Yeah, this is a really bad design. The main menu should be right line. This cactus is far too big. Uh, this headline is far too, uh, you know, because just, just look at this empty space right here. They should be raised up to about this position. Uh, so it's really far down. Um, the call to action should be a different color. You basically uh, took a nice image from Unsplash. You, you created a clipping mask and that was it. This is not a, a decent, uh, a decent effort, quite poor. And again, these, these rectangles, clients hate these things on 99 designs. They absolutely hate them because this entire design feels, feels like a template, right? It, it, it seems like something that's been uh, designed in 20 minutes and that's it. It's more of an elaborated wireframe than anything else. This is not a tailored made design. This is just an idea, uh, just a sketch of sorts. So it's not really, I would immediately eliminate this, this type of design if I were a contest holder. Um, yeah, I'm not in love with, with this header. I think, I think there's, there's a lot of things wrong with it, but I'm not uh, gonna comment on it because we're gonna 
talk about it at least for 20 minutes or so. Ah, uh, this main menu again, this is not cool. There's no information whatsoever about these clothes, size, price, whatever. You know, using gray as, as a banner. Yeah, this is again a pretty poor, pretty poor design. Here, okay, this is pretty good. This is actually decent. I like the, the font. I like the headline. I like the way you, you created the four, four column approach. The photos you chose are great. Uh, these controllers right here, they're, they're great as well. So this actually is pretty good. The footer actually is, is decent as well with the, with the social media icons back to top all these columns right here. So this is pretty good. This, I hate it. I absolutely hate it because when you use such a dark footer, which is obviously standard, this is the type of color scheme you have to use. This gray and then a, an even darker gray here. You need more color in this region, especially since this is a major call to action. Subscribe. Growing a newsletter is essential for most businesses. So this needs much more color. But you know, at the top, you try to get creative, you try to do something interesting and fancy, and it really backfired. Um, so this right here, the header is terrible. This as well is terrible. Again, uh, coming from, you know, starting from this position, things are a bit better. But still, you know, I would say this is a two-star uh, section, three-star section. And then from, from here on out, 3.5 to four stars. So that's about it regarding your um, uh, your experience. I think you're doing a pretty good job. I'm not really sure that how much experience you have behind you. If you're doing this, you know, if you just started, if you've been doing this for six months or 12 months, but I would say you should continue. You should continue and, you know, these types of designs, although they're not great, these two, although they're not great, they show promise. I think you have a knack for it. And if you focus on the things that really matter, and if you rewatch the course and, you know, really uh, try and get in depth and see, you know, the, the attention to detail that I'm trying to portray in my courses, I think you have a strong chance of, uh, of getting a portfolio, a portfolio up and running and uh, winning some design contests. That's about it. Sorry for no video. My hair is all over the place. My nose is a bit runny. So that's why I chose to, to not record myself. But um, hopefully this was useful and expect, expect more content in the future. This is Chris signing out. Thank you so much. Bye.